Hello gentlemen and welcome to another edition of Empowered Rants where you'll hear uh, topics discussed by me unbiased, unscripted, and uncensored. Now something that's been troubling me for the last several days that I think should be brought to the light and discussed more in the manosphere uh, is the fact that we live in a society that obviously is anti-male and gynocentric but one aspect that I see that really isn't as discussed is how far that type of misandry has gone and bled into reality TV. Now, if you look at shows like, say, back in the 1950s, with shows like uh, Leave It to Beaver, The Brady Bunch, uh, The Bill Cosby Show, and well, even into like the 80s and 90s, like, uh, uh, what is it, Family Matters, or even Full House to a lesser extent, the dads are often portrayed as strong, alpha, masculine leaders. And, of course, as they should be. The dad is the strong one, the dad is the dependable one, the dad is the one who goes out, provides for his family, gets shit done, etc. You know, the, the whole nine yards. But if you look nowadays in shows like Family Guy, The Simpsons, or even kid shows like Jimmy Neutron, Good Luck Charlie, and Fairly Odd Parents, Fairly Odd Parents is a, a special one because it has a twofer in it Cosmo and Timmy's dad. Uh, you see how a lot of dads nowadays, if not all dads, are basically portrayed as a complete bumbling idiot. The dad does not know jack shit about how to raise his children. He's a moron. He always stumbles. He's a buffoon. But the mom is always a strong, competent one. The mom's the one who keeps the family together. The mom is the one that is the anchor of the family. She's like the the bass player of the band. She's the one who keeps the family running. She's the one who keeps stability. She's the one who keeps love. Uh, the whole nine. And it should come as no surprise given how our culture treats men. But it's kind of an insult and a slap in the face, especially to a lot of single dads out there and a lot of good fathers who are seriously trying to provide for their families, feed their children, make sure they have a roof over their head, make sure there's clothes on their backs, make sure that uh, the bills are being paid and make sure that everything is taken care of for their families. No, gentlemen, that type of father in a modern sitcoms does not exist. It's a terrible shame what's happening. I mean, you take someone like, say, Peter Griffin. I mean, that guy's the biggest moron probably you could find. I'm sure that there are other dads out there that are worse, but Peter Griffin is a complete idiot. And he is terrible. He's abusive. He treats Meg like shit. He's always buddy buddy with Chris, or you know you, you look at shows like um oh, what is it? You look at shows like The Fairly Odd Parents. That's a kids show. Timmy's dad is neglectful. He's stupid. He doesn't know how to do two plus two. Cosmo is even worse. I mean that guy, even though he's Timmy's fairy godfather, he's a complete idiot too. Just as bad if if not worse than Mr. Turner. And. We, it's basically what we're seeing now uh, with young children watching these TV shows. They're basically being programmed, you know, especially mothers nowadays, uh, girls that are going to grow up and become mothers and raise their own kids. This basically just perpetuates what I would like to consider uh, anti-familial misandry. And I did a video about familial misandry. But it's basically perpetuating it because what you're seeing now is when these young girls grow up, it's being psychologically programmed into their mind to think that all men that will become a dad will just become a complete idiot and I will be left alone raising all these kids while I deal with this dumbass for a spouse who I will eventually divorce, rape, and throw out into the streets. It's really a, it's really a sad situation we're finding ourselves in. And what would happen if we had a TV show that came out right now where the mom was the idiot, the roles are reversed, the mom was the idiot, and the dad was the strong one, if we went back to, say, during the days of Leave it to Beaver. But, in this, but this time there's a twist. The mom is the one that's an idiot. The mom is the one that can't get shit done. Why, we would be having feminists come out of the woodwork and just completely panning it, wanting it taken off, they, I mean, it would be basically cancel culture run wild at this point. Sorry, cancel culture gone wild. They would be just, you know, jumping down the executive's throats. Uh, they would be demanding it be banned because it flies in the face of the feminist narrative of the woman being proud, strong, and independent. 
and Hollywood helps to facilitate this. It's no surprise that Hollywood has gone full on left wing mode. And I'm not I'm not a part of any political party, but you know, you, you even a liberal could see that Hollywood's pretty left wing. And one thing that's seen in the left especially is overt misandry. I mean, we're not we're not we can't all be surprised with the mis with the misandry on the right, but the misandry on the left is broadcasted and up 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 close and personal in front and center for everyone else to see. And it's truly astonishing the power that uh, the media has over America. And I'm not just talking about social media. You know, this is before uh, the smartphone came out. This is before apps and Tinder and Meet Me. This this has been going on for a long time. And I think that this is something that should be brought up and discussed. All it's really going to do is just perpetuate more misandry. It's just going to cause more heartache. You know, young girls that watch these shows, they're going to view their fathers as a moron, and they're going to view their mothers as proud and strong. I hope I'm wrong on all accounts, but I think, honestly, it's just going to keep going down this road until we finally have the proper shift needed to, to say, hey, no, the dad is not the idiot. The dad has been the strong one out there busting his ass, providing for his family like a good father should. We, we should be having more of that. We do have more of that but not on the level that I would like to see. And like I said, we should be, we in MGTOW and the Red Pill, we in those communities, we should not be surprised to see this kind of thing. Now, and I'm, I'm, kind of, I'm honestly a bit amazed that other creators haven't discussed this as well, so that's why I'm bringing it up. But we we can see this coming a mile away it doesn't make it right but we've all seen this coming and we know it's been coming for a long time it's here whether we like it or not but i think if we have a proper discussion and we learn more about it maybe we can start having a shift i know i'm being cautiously optimistic but honestly i, I try to be optimistic at times and I'm, i'll be putting links inside the description below about it anyway uh that's what i thought i would discuss right now um if you have any uh, topics for me to discuss, put them in the comments section. Uh, also, for my Anthems of MGTOW series, if you have any song suggestions, please uh, feel free to send me an email or also put them inside the com comment section. Uh, thank you for listening, and I'll see you around. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more content. Uh, donate to my Patreon. And you guys have a good day, and cheers.